Hi, I'm Harper, Head of AI ML at Brev.dev, and today we're going to go through Automatic 11.11, which is the most popular stable diffusion web UI. And I'm going to show you how you can do it. There's almost no code needed, and let's do it together. It's, it's pretty simple, so I'm just going to walk you through it. We're going to start in this notebook, which I will link in the bio below, and um, we can just click this Deploy Now button to get the GPU that we need. So we'll just log into Brev.dev, loading, getting our instances. This might take um, a minute, just let them load. We're basically pulling instances from different cloud providers like AWS and GCP, so you can see what's available. And um, all right, so it's already pre-configured. Everything is here for you, and let's just press deploy. And now it's deploying, we can see down here. This is the name. You can edit this. You can also change the GPU if you have different requirements. I'm using an A10G, which is about $1 an hour. So um, it only has 24 gigs of GPU memory, but I think that should work for the Stable Diffusion Web UI. You could even probably go smaller. Oh, I have a duplicate. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. This will load onto the console page where I will then press build to build the verb container. And what verb is, is it's um, a container on the machine where we'll download CUDA and Python and have everything set up for you, JupyterLab, so that the notebook is just ready to go. And so these versions are preloaded from the template from when you click to deploy now. So let's just press build and this will build. And this will take a little bit of time um, I would come back in 10 minutes, 10-ish minutes. We're working on making it faster, but for now it's about 10 minutes. But maybe by the time you see this, we'll have reduced the time to about five or less minutes. So there will be updates here. You'll see a terminal jump up here um, with, with an output, and I'll come back when it's ready. Great, so the verb container is ready. It's ready to open. We're having an issue with the notebook button right now. Normally you could click this and it would open to the Jupyter Lab environment. But instead, we're just going to take the title of the instance and open a terminal and run brev notebook. Oops, ah, sorry. Brev notebook. You'll have to install the brev command line interface, CLI, and you can do that by going to your profile. And there is a install CLI command here that you can copy um, and then install that to make the brev command work. Great, so this is port forwarding. We can open this on localhost. And here we have the Jupyter Lab environment. So let's just go back to the automatic notebook. We'll download this. And then we can upload it here. Just say upload. Great. So to run the cells, we can start down here. We do shift enter. So we're just gonna run this cell and then run this cell and then this cell. And you can just wait and hang out while this is running. Okay, so it's loaded and now we just run this last cell. Let's see, Let's one more. I guess it's, it was already in that directory. I reran it, so it was messed up. Now this is gonna load. And as I say, a window should pop up with the UI, but if that doesn't happen, um, there's a few other options listed here. So let's just let this run and I'll be back. Okay, so now that we're, it says model loaded, so it's ready to go. <clears throat> it hasn't jumped popped up. Let's try this link. It doesn't work. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to run brev port forward this, open a new terminal, paste it here, add the one. Great. So it will port forward for us. And then in a new tab, localhost 7860. Sweet. 
So this is the UI. You can do text to image, you can do image to image, and this is where you can load different checkpoints. And um, yeah, so let's just do, let's just create a prompt. Let's do a basic prompt. Um, uh, woman, uh, woman walking down the streets of San Francisco in 1945. And negative prompt will say nude because a lot of these models are trained on a lot of nude images. So it's just nice to, you might have to add this nude negative prompt. Cool. You can increase, you can choose the sampling, uh, change the sampling method, change the bat batch count, batch size. Um, so yeah, here's the UI. I hope this is helpful. I will follow up with videos on how to add control net models and LoRa models from Civit AI so that you can easily kind of create new image based on pre fine tuned stable diffusion models. So that's Civit AI. So you don't need to do, you know, gymnastics when you're prompt engineering. It's really cool. I'll follow up with that. So I will add those videos here once they're ready, if they're not showing up above my fingers and they're not ready yet, <laughs> but stay tuned and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.